What's up guys, episode three right now of How It's Made by ADV. And today we got a lot of requests about talking about our Ram Air hood. Our customers wanna know how we designed it, why we designed it the way we did it, how we manufacture it, as well as how we install it. So we're gonna take you guys through the entire process right now. To start off, we're gonna start with the OEM hood and we're gonna take you guys through our process because starting with the stock panels, we'll take you through our design process of our hood as well. This is the OEM hood. It is the same exact hood for all Broncos, two-door, four-door. Uh, the Bronco Raptor does have a different style hood, but in regards to standard Broncos, they all have this hood right here. Uh, different trims have stickers, a front edge protector right here as well, but for the most part, it's very simple. You guys have some body lines across here. They follow down across the front. You have a raised level right here. It's really small. So when we did our hood, we didn't want to go completely wacky. We wanted something clean, but aggressive at the same time, but not too aggressive. So when we designed our Ram Air hood, we had it actually flow from about right here to the opening, which the opening is pretty small right here. It's got a nice custom aluminum mesh that we get laser cut every single time and glue into place. But the reason I'm talking about the OEM hood right now is because we keep the consistent OEM lines as well. So we keep all this detail right here, follows through so it matches the fenders, it matches the windshield apex area, it matches the vehicle really nicely. So this right here is a finished Ram Air hood from us. As you can see, it comes with semi-gloss white gel coat. So when you guys get it, you scuff it, prime it, paint it, or scuff it, uh, wrap it, scuff it, prime it, wrap it. All of those are options for however you want to paint it. We like to paint the hoods. It gets that better finish in my opinion. So that's our recommendation, but wraps still look phenomenal. So you guys can do either or. But to talk about the hood itself, let's go through the design process. Like I mentioned earlier, when we did the start the design, we wanted to make sure that it had aggressive lines, clean lines, but it wasn't wacky. It followed the vehicle. It's basically looked like it should have came from Ford. That was our design philosophy around the hood itself. So you guys can tell the opening is fairly small. It's good enough to get enough airflow into the engine bay and cool down the entire engine bay. It does not funnel the air to the actual air intake. And the reason behind that is if we did that route, it would have ruined the design. The air intake is so far forward right here that we would have needed to put the opening all the way up here just for it to funnel directly to the air intake. So in our opinion, the Bronco doesn't need it to funnel to the air intake. It can cool down the engine bay, which is where we went after, and it's exactly what we did as well. So we pushed the actual opening back to this location here, and it looks way better. There are other companies that put it up here, and you guys will probably agree with me, it does not look right. So cool aspect of this, the actual design of this mesh right here matches the grill itself. And the reason we did that is that way it flows with the vehicle. You don't wanna have some weird diamond grill that doesn't match the actual grill in the vehicle too. We bond in each and every one of these pieces. That way in case the customer wants, you can tape it off, paint it black, orange, yellow, gray, whatever color you guys want and paint the hood body color of the vehicle as well. So jumping into the manufacturing process, the way that this hood is manufactured, it's a top mold and a bottom mold. It has about a three to four inch flange that sits outside of here with positioning targets all the way around. So what that does, we lay up the top side, we lay up the back side, we trim all the edges. We then test fit both back and top or top and bottom to make sure they sit nice and flush against each other. The positioning targets that sit on the flange outside of the hood locate the hood in the perfect position. If we did not have the actual positioning targets, the hood would just float in space and it would never line up 100% correct. Because we have the positioning targets, we know this hood is gonna go together the same every single time, which is awesome. It's one thing that we did to make sure to ensure quality on our hood, it stays consistent across the board, but after we trim it and we test fit it, we then add filler, which is basically glue, across the top and the bottom and smush it together. The filler will now push out of the mold and it'll have excess. It'll sit overnight, we'll pop it out, pull it out of the mold, grind down all the filler, add any necessary Bondo, clean it up, paint it, go through quality control and then ship it out or install it. The cool thing about this hood in particular it's a five to 10 minute install. It's really, really easy. And you can get away with doing it with two people. You could probably do it with one guy. It might be a little bit more tough. I'd recommend two people, but it is doable. And it's our easiest product to install by a long shot. So let's take you through the install process. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the install process real quick, and then we'll do a time-lapse of the install. It's very easy. 
There's gonna be the front latch up front. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to pull the actual bolts off. In the rear, you're gonna use a 13 millimeter. You have two bolts up front, two bolts in the rear, and two bolts in the rear right there. So six in total. You're gonna basically loosen the front one, take that latch off, because you're gonna reuse that with our hood. We do supply the hardware for the front two bolts because of the fact that we add inserts into the laminate to fasten down that front latch. In regards to the two bolts in the rear on the driver and two bolts in the rear on the passenger, you're gonna reuse those bolts for our hood as well. So let's get started. All right, so we took you guys through the entire process. We explained design features, manufacturing process, and showed you the full install as well. Luckily, you guys can see for yourself how easy the install is. To kind of go through it one more time, we take off the OEM hood, bolt ours down lightly first, make sure the gaps on the passenger and the driver's side are all correct. Once that's all finished, tighten the rear bolts as well, fully tighten the front bolts. Close it again with the latch uninstalled. Confirm the gaps are still consistent. Once you do that, you add the front latch, close it, and you are done. I have the heat extractor hood next to me. We offer two different hoods for the actual Bronco, the Ram Air and the heat extractor. So it serves both sides of the market. You get this style and this style. They're both awesome in my opinion. We actually came out with this one first and right when we finished it, I was thinking this thing's gonna sell like crazy, which it sells really, really good. And then we finished this design and I'm like, nah, this one's even better. So the Ram Air is a hit for our Bronco customers. So is the heat extractor, but this one definitely outshines the heat extractor for sure. But to each their own, you guys can pick between this design and this design. So we appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode of How It's Made by ADV number three. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's episode as well. Thank you.